everyone, I'm Mariko. I'm a Sydney-based artist and musician, also known as Destroy Mariko, and today I'm reviewing the Gothic Distressed Sweater Hoodie Coat from Punk Rave Australia. If you're interested in getting one for yourself, check the video description because there should be a discount code for about 25% off, I think. Also, as usual, this was sent to me as a gift, but I'll always give you my honest opinion in every review. So let's start with a quick look at the website. As you can see, it's a long cape-like coat with a really large looking hood, which is great because I hate when hoods are small. Those never seem to sit right, and it's like, what's the point? Give me a big hood. So I really like that about this one with the dark Jedi witch vibe. It's also got this interesting furry sort of texture making up the base fabric, but what really attracts me is the whole distressed look. There's so many cool layers of different fabrics flowing from it, and the dropped stitch ladder effect on the back is actually something I used to enjoy experimenting with back when I used to knit. Um, I'm really into things like decay and the post-apocalyptic vibe, so yeah, sign me up, this looks epic. But one thing I'm already worrying about is exactly how warm this is going to be. It's winter in Sydney, so this is great timing for coats, but as far as I can tell, the front of this one is only held together by a single clasp. So this isn't going to be the sort of thing that you can completely close up to stay warm on your front side. It's kind of set up more like a cape with sleeves than a standard coat, so yeah, interested to see how that goes. It is one size fits all though, so if I have room to wear a lot of layers under it, that might actually be perfect, because my warmer clothes aren't that exciting, but if I can hide them under this, that'd be awesome. Speaking of the one size fits all thing though, you might want to check these measurements out rather than the global size chart. Supposedly free size covers everyone from extra small to 2XL, but I'm not entirely convinced it'll work out that way, so when I try it on, I'll show you how much extra space I've got so that if you're one of the larger sizes, you might get an idea of how much extra room there actually is in this one. Okay, so here's the package. We're in one of these uh, large white satchels again. Um, got a gazillion stamps on it with some really cute teddies. Whoops cute teddies. It was sent to me on Wednesday and arrived on Tuesday. Um, the only reason it took that long though is because like the weekend, it was a long weekend because we just had the Queen's birthday. So actually this is the same fast service that I'm used to from Punk Grave Australia. As for customer service, uh, once again there's not really much I can say. I've never had a problem and all the communication about things like shipping and so on has been really clear so yeah, no worries. Let's go open this package. All right. Here we go. Okay, so today it's come in this sort of um, silver on the back, clear with punk rave on the front kind of thing. Nice. Ooh, it feels so soft already. Oh my gosh. Wow, I didn't realize it was going to be so soft. So straight away when you pull it out, you can see the um, little clasp there. And yeah, wow, I'm just so surprised. I had no idea that was going to be the texture of it. It's incredible. It's like a sort of woolen texture, um, which I really didn't pick up because of the way it's so fluffy. Um, I kind of expected it to have more of a synthetic kind of feel, but it actually feels quite a bit more like soft kind of natural instead of a hard synthetic kind of feel. So wow, I'm really impressed with that. Wow. Okay, so I just thought I'd bring you a little bit closer so we can see some of the details. So let's start with the hood. Um, so yeah, that's actually quite generous. Um, I think on the website they even describe it as a generous hoodie and they're not kidding, like that is amazing. Um, the fabric is actually quite stretchy, so um, when I was, you know, giving my concerns about free size, I mean we'll check once I'm actually wearing it, but there is a fair bit of stretch and I don't remember seeing that on the website, so that's good, that's a good thing to know. Um, now at the edge, of the hoodie, so you've got this main woolly sort of fabric, but up at the edge you've got this more, um, it's a thinner fabric, I don't know what to call it, there's a, two kind of layers of it, and um, yeah, it sort of has that tattered edge, distressed kind of look that I really like, so that's really cool. And then here's the um, clasp a little bit closer up, so that just hooks off like that, pretty easy. <laughs> there's actually a fair bit of weight to it. Okay, down to the sleeves. So something that um, wasn't really that visible on the website is, um, I don't know how well I can show it, but down the sides you've got this sort of ladder stitching kind of thing, which is really cool. I used to do that in my punk knitting, and so it's really exciting to see someone else doing it on purpose and like from such a high quality kind of brand. And yeah, there's a fair bit of stretch in the sleeves as well, and the ending um, sort of flares out, which is nice. Now on the back, as you can see, there's also some more of that sort of epic ladder stitching and actually that's one of the reasons I decided to wear white today because I was sort of expecting some of that and um, because I'm wearing white we'll be able to show some of the contrast so um, hopefully those little ladder stitch bits will show up um, a little bit better. 
And then you've got all these bits of um, a distressed sort of fabric attached. So, oh my gosh, wow. Check this one out. It's like got holes in it and really tattered, you know, it sort of gives me that haunted kind of vibe. That's awesome. It's kind of this interesting stretchy fabric. And then we've got this one, which is similarly tattered, but it looks like um, the original had um, sort of little flower rose kind of patterns or something in it. So um, yeah, and it's a bit more of a sheer look. So that's really cool as well. And then there's like a full on lace one. Oh my God, they've gone and tattered that as well. That's epic. <laughs> I'm really loving how much detail there is in this. That's so cool. I guess one thought I have just looking at it is it seems, it, it doesn't seem as long as I thought it would be. Um, in the pictures on the website, I got the impression that it'd be quite a long coat kind of thing, whereas this feels sort of like halfway in between a jacket and a coat kind of length, but I'll try it on and we'll actually see for real. But um, yeah, no, uh, I'm loving the feel of it. It's so soft. I was not expecting that. Amazing. All right, I'm going to um, take off this jacket that I'm wearing and swap it. And we'll try it on. We'll try it on first with like all the white underneath so that you can sort of get a bit of contrast. And then after that, I might go and grab some of my warmer clothes and we can see how much we can actually fit underneath. So um, yeah, if it's a really cold day, um, if I could wear this on the outside, I mean, when it's, when it's cold, one of the things that's annoying about my warm clothes is they tend to be more mainstream, kind of boring because the whole point is to keep me as warm as possible. But if I can have something like this, over the top because none of my jackets so far will fit over like none of my interesting jackets will fit over my really warm clothes so um if we can get that to work with this that'll be amazing all right i'm gonna try it on all right so this is how it looks on me i totally feel like some kind of dark sith queen or something right now um also i just discovered that it has pockets so i'm really excited about that Anyway, we'll do our twirl. Um, I'm going to put my measurements in this side as usual, but on the other side, because it's free size, I don't feel like the global size chart is useful here, so I'll put the non-standard size measurements um, that were on the website in the other corner, so you can get a bit of a vibe. Um, we'll do a twirl, and then I'll do a close-up, and we'll also try it on with some warmer clothes, and um, then we'll talk about it. So. Bit of a close-up. <laughs> oh my gosh, you guys, it's actually doable. So I've got so many layers on right now. Um, I've also got my cat hat. <laughs> this is basically what I wore in Japan in the middle of winter in Japan's winter is colder than Sydney most of the time so um, yeah I, I actually can get everything underneath this um, this jacket um, now maybe the only thing I might add is a scarf but there's so much room in this hood that you know I don't feel like that's going to get in the way it was a little bit tricky getting my puffy jacket underneath but because it stretches like look I still have space how cool is that so um, yeah, I, I could totally put this on over my um, warm winter stuff. So um, I'll take it all off and show you what I've actually got under here. So the cat hat. And then under here, I've got um, a black puffy jacket, a purple jacket, and then that long sleeve shirt from before. And you could probably fit more under that, but it was mainly the um, purple jumper and the puffy jacket that I wear when it's really cold. And so to have both of them be able to fit under this is really cool. Okay, so um, in terms of size, I think this is really cool. I mean, obviously it, it fits over me um, just regularly, but the fact that I can fit so much extra underneath is really cool. And like, you know, it still had some extra space. I did have to squeeze it in there a little bit, but um, yeah, no, because it's got so much stretch. I mean, look at that. So yeah, um, if you are in one of the larger sizes, actually, I think this will probably be all right. It also has heaps of room down here. I mean, like it's super stretchy. One thing um, I am not used to though is um, that the, the single clasp thing that's, um, I don't think I have anything else like this, that sort of cape style. I think maybe like there's one really old thing that I borrowed from mum a long time ago that just had like a tie, but um, yeah, this is the first time having just the single clasp, no extra buttons, literally all my other coats have buttons going the whole way. So that's a little bit different for me and um, you know, something to get used to. I do feel like if you, um, 
put buttons on there like that that would be kind of a cool addition to this so um, I guess I feel a little bit weird that punk raves designers um, decided not to go with that like so instead of being like this I feel like it could have been more like that um, and so that you'd have like options between whether or not you want to wear it like this or wear it like that so that you stay warmer but given that you can wear heaps of stuff underneath I feel like I'm not really gonna get cold because I can just layer up and then this can go on the outside and then I can still look good and warm at the same time and I suppose punk rave's philosophy is maybe that they want you to be able to show off what you're wearing underneath so that makes sense to open it up like that I just feel like you know having the option to completely button it up would have been nice but that's just like a sort of minor thing that's my kind of preference is um yeah a little bit of that um with the hood like so I'm sort of just resting the hood here but actually it's really big if I pull it all the way forward as far as it'll go <laughs> um you won't see me anymore so yeah it's a really big hood like really big let's pull it up like woo <laughs> it's it's pretty fun um yeah and then you just put it there it sits nicely it's fine woo oh my gosh and I just caught a glimpse of that that stitching I love that I love that kind of thing awesome I have to say though I'm really loving the feel of this fabric like this is really nice and really soft. I'm so surprised. This is not something that I thought would be in this. And I'm just noticing now they even have variations in how it's been knitted. So you can see there's like these sort of raised sections from um, altering the way that it's knitted. And uh, just like all the extra detail. And you know, they sort of curve at different lines and so on. They're not just straight down. There's, there's so much detail in this and it feels really nice. And like the quality and all that, I'm so impressed. Like, it's really hard to tell from photos how, what these are going to be like. So to have this like here and see what it's actually like. And it's so soft and so nice. I mean, that's, I'm really impressed. And I had no idea it had pockets. I love pockets, you know. I mean, I don't use them enough, but there are so many, so many different things you try on and they don't have pockets. And then when you really need a pocket, it's not there. I mean, sometimes when I go to walk my dog, I don't want to take a whole bag or anything. So I just want to put my keys in my pocket and just take him out. No phone, nothing. Just, I just need one pocket for my keys. And yeah, I, I, I like pockets. I get excited when I see pockets. So um, the fact that this has pockets is great, especially if this is going to be your outerwear, right? If you've like, you know, you the rest of your clothes might have pockets, but if they're under layers and layers, you're not going to be able to access them. So having a pocket on the outside of everything that you're wearing, that's really handy. Oh my God. I'm just loving how all these bits sort of dangle down and that sort of distressed, you know, end of the world kind of decayed haunted vibe. I love this so much. That's so cool. <laughs> I love this hood so much. I really love the whole like dark Jedi Sith witchy kind of thing. It makes me feel, it makes me feel like evil, which is kind of fun, you know, like I should be cackling away. Okay, so yeah, I really love this item. I'm really enjoying it Um, in terms of the size, fit, quality, the fabric is so nice. Um, it's really hard to think of anything wrong with it. It feels really nice to wear. Um, when you pulled it out of the packet, it felt a little bit heavy, but once you've got it on, it doesn't feel heavy at all. Um, there's plenty of space. There's plenty of stretch. Um, it's really hard to think of anything wrong with it. Um, <laughs> you know, trying to give my honest opinion, trying to think of negatives. There's really nothing. I really love this. Um, from the only thing that I can think of is maybe just my personal design choice where I would have buttons on the front just to be able to have that option to close it up. But, you know, my personal design ideas is not necessarily everyone else's and it's not really a flaw as such. It's just, um, yeah. I don't know, it, 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 everything about this is really cool, so um, I'm loving it. Alright, so I think that's all for today's review. I really love this, I think it's a great item. Just a reminder, if you want to get a discount, there should be one in the description. Thanks again to Punk Rave Australia for sending this to me. Um, please go check out their channel and um, what, like, subscribe, share, comment, all the things. You can also subscribe to my channel, which is Destroy Americo, and you can also follow me on all the social media, so Instagram, Facebook, whatever. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you all again next time.